Today we are talking all about the loggerhead sea turtle. Hi, for those that are new here, my name is Leah. I work as a sea turtle biologist and educator, and I like to create content to showcase the work being done in the field and also answer some of the top questions you may have about sea turtles. Loggerhead sea turtle is one of seven different species of sea turtle, and it is the second largest hard-shelled species. It gets its name for its massive head. They love to eat hard-shelled invertebrates, so things like horseshoe crabs, blue crabs, or whelks, like this one that I have here. Now, it looks like something took a big chomp out of it. We can't say for certain that was the fate of this whelk, but sea turtles can crush the shell and eat the animal inside. They can actually crush with a force of 500 pounds. Um, so they have very, very strong jaws. What I like to show off with this skull is when you turn it around, there's this tiny little cavity for its brain. It has a brain about the size of a peanut, so we say they're not necessarily thinking turtles. They do everything based off of instinct, which is pretty incredible. The loggerhead sea turtle can reach a carapace length, which is that top shell of three and a half feet and can weigh over 300 pounds. They are found in tropical and temperate waters around the world. They also get the nickname a moving ecosystem, as you can often find algae and other invertebrates occupying their carapace. They reach maturity around 25 to 30 years of age and can live for about 100 plus years. In South Carolina, the state reptile is the loggerhead sea turtle. That is our primary nesting sea turtle in the state. The nesting season in South Carolina runs from May through October. There are over 1,500 volunteers covering and surveying the coastline, protecting and documenting sea turtle nests. Loggerhead sea turtles mainly nest at night to remain undisturbed under the cover of darkness. They will come ashore, they will dig an egg chamber using those back flippers to create a chamber that's about 18 to 24 inches in depth, where they will then lay on average 120 eggs. They will cover it back up and return to the water, never to see those eggs again, laying three to five times a season. The eggs then incubate for 45 to 60 days. It all really depends on temperature, and temperature also determines the sex of the hatchling. I have created a separate video on this, so if you're interested, I'll try and link it maybe somewhere up there, and also link it down below as well. Once those hatchlings are ready, they emerge all together, not only to get out of the sand, but also for safety in numbers. So it's predicted that about one in a thousand hatchlings will survive to adulthood. They have a lot of natural predators. Raccoons, ghost crabs, laughing gulls, and large predatory fish. In South Carolina, once those hatchlings reach the ocean, they then swim for about two days straight. They're getting out to the Sargasso Sea, which is this area out in the Atlantic where the currents push together sargassum seaweed. They'll live here for about the first 10 years of their life or so, until they're about the size of a dinner plate. After then, they may venture more near shore to forage. Once they reach adulthood, they may nest at or near the same beach that they were laid as an egg, using their amazing navigational skills. They use the Earth's magnetic field to be able to navigate in the ocean. I hope you enjoyed learning more about the loggerhead sea turtle. Before you leave, be sure to subscribe, give this video a like, and also comment below uh, your turtle experience. I'd love to hear about it. We'll see you next time. Bye!